Hi everybody, welcome back to Avo Tutorials. Today I have a very exciting Figma tutorial that I would like to share with you and it is about vertical and horizontal scrolling. Before I jump into the tutorial, I will show you a quick demo of how it looks like. Okay, cool. So here is my first slide and this mobile screen here is scrollable, top and bottom. And on the next slide, I have a project timeline that I can scroll from left to right, right to left. If you're interested to follow along with me, don't forget to go to the description down below. There is going to be a link where you can download and import in this exact Figma file. Okay, to start off, because all of this has already been set up, if you would like to change the image in the template, you can actually bring this out. And I'm going to remove the frame for now. And as you can see, it is a very long image as I have um, screenshot that from the Nike website as I was scrolling it on my mobile phone. And you can replace this with any image that you have. Um, once you have your really long image, all you have to do is to drag in over here and roughly just place where you want it to be. Now you can see that it is on top of the iPhone frame and for you to bring it down, you can actually just drag it to the last layer here or alternatively, click on the left bracket button and it will automatically jump to the last frame. Before you do that, make sure you click on your image and then click on the bracket, the left bracket button on your keyboard. Okay, now that you see it is behind, but you can see that it's really, really long. Okay, let's just ignore this frame for now. I'm just going to put it on the side here. Okay. Alright, so now because the image is really, really long, you need to put this in the frame. So you click on the image and then right click, go to frame selection. So now you can see here in the layer that it is within a frame and you need to adjust the frame size. So to adjust the frame size, you just hold on the command button and then just scroll this up. Hold on the command button and drag this up, not scroll, sorry, drag it up. And once you're satisfied with where the frame should be, then you can click clip content here on the right. So you see over here, clip content. Awesome! So now meaning your image is within that frame. So if we actually do a little bit of zoom, you can you can see it that, that it's not like fully covered. So let me just change the background color at the moment. So just change this to maybe dark green. Okay, just, just for the sake of seeing where the frame is. So you can see that the frame is over here and what I want to do is to adjust the frame a little bit more maybe until here so that at least the white colored parts um, are not showing. Okay, and maybe now it's jutting up because it is sharp, like, I mean, it's a rectangle, right? So I can change this and add in a little bit of edge, so maybe 30. So that way, then it's like curved in and it will match um, the framing of the iPhone. Awesome. So now the both top and bottom works. So I'm going to change back the color, the background color. Um, so that it looks a bit nicer. Yeah, I like this one. Okay, awesome. Then now to add in the scrolling effect, you have to make sure you click on this head to prototype and make sure your position is scroll with parent, uh, overflow, then change that to vertical because you are, because your image is overflowing. So you want to be able to scroll it. And to preview the scrolling effect, you can actually just hit on the frame and then go to shift spacebar. So now you see this little pop-up over here. All right, you can see and you can scroll. And you can see whether it works fine. So this is awesome. Alternatively, if you do not want to use the shift spacebar preview, you can go to this play button here at the top right, which it says present. So let me just click present, it will pull up the 
presentation mode and you can try scrolling your mouse over this part. Make sure it works, make sure it, everything is within the frame. Awesome. So let me just close this. So now you have learned how to do the vertical scrolling. Next up, let's learn how to do horizontal scrolling. So this is a project timeline that I've drafted out. Similar concept, this part over here is overflowing. So it's actually overflowing on the right. So let me just um, uncheck this clip content and you can see there's a lot more content. And technically, you can also change the month. So for example, here is January, February, March, April, May. And maybe here you want to change to, to June, July, August and so on. So I'm not going to go into that because that um, you can change up the details. I just want to show you how you can um, put this and create this from scratch. So I'm going to remove this and we're going to do it um, again. For example, you have all of this planned out and you just have to click into this. Command C, Command V or Control C, Control V if you're on Windows and then drag it. Okay, you drag it over here. Awesome. And now you know that these two timelines are connected. Of course, you can, you know, um, drag it a little bit closer so that the months, the gap here in the months um, will be aligned. And you can even just further adjust um, the containers. So let me adjust that just for the... Awesome. Okay, I'll leave the details up for all of you to change up. So for example, now I have frame number four here and I have this frame number three over here. And you can see that frame four is outside of this whole project timeline slide. So you need to make sure you drag it back in. So let's just collapse frame three. Drag frame four inside here. So at least then both frame three, this one, frame four, which is the one on the right, they are within the same frame of this whole presentation slide. Okay, Make sure they're inside because if they're outside, this it's not going to work. And then now all you have to do is to highlight or select frame 3 and frame 4 together. Right click it, create another frame. So f meaning 3 and 4 is within frame 5. Okay. And then now you can see this whole thing that's selected is frame number five. Okay, so for frame number five, you need to make sure that you hold down the command button. And then once again, scroll all the way and drag it to where the presentation slide ends. Okay, so that's where the cutoff is. And then again, we have to click clip content. Awesome. So now you can see there's a little bit of cutoff here, but that's fine because we're going to be scrolling um, when we start previewing. Click on this, go to prototype. Right now, it's scroll with parent, which is correct. For overflow, we need to select horizontal. Then to preview, once again, click on the whole slide. Click shift space. Shift save space bar. And then here we can have the preview and you can see we are able to scroll from left to right. Awesome. So let's close that. And that's it. Um, I really hope this tutorial was helpful. Once again, if you want to get the template for these two slides that scrolls horizontally and vertically, head to the description down below and you'll be led to this page. Once you have downloaded the Figma file from Gumroad, then you can import it in. If you're not sure how to import, go check out this YouTube video that I've created in the past. And once you import it in, you can just follow along. Thank you so much for your time. And do drop me any comments down below if you have any other tutorials that you would like me to do. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!